Let's start first with our presentation of the task of the week um, because of the students or maybe the future students uh, for Hanover know what they have to do at your department. Therefore, what is the task of the week from Hanover today? Uh, well, the task of the week basically um, focuses on what uh, students at a master course should already know from their from their bachelors for example uh, they should know how the setup of an electric machine is and so our task of the week basically uh, makes the makes those students who, who want to do that uh, to be yeah the the designer of the of an electric machine so they need to insert the windings uh, and connect the, the the coils to the to the right phases in order to uh, make it being a two-pole machine with a higher uh, with, with higher revolutions per minute of the rotor or make it a four-pole machine. So that's one big issue and, and the, the second or the last uh, part of, of the task of the week will be to um, show a little bit that you uh, already know different types of electric machines and know what the torque speed characteristics of these different types of electric machines is. So I think a relatively simple task for, for people who have already uh, had, uh, so have some basic knowledge about electric machines. And uh, you, be, um, you have prepared a video with your colleague Professor Renz yeah. um, who will give some uh, insights and introduction how to do it. Yes. Welcome to the short introduction of the weekly task of week number 7. As you might have guessed, the weekly task will be about motors. The access to the weekly task is fairly easy. Just go to the website and click on the link in the descriptions of topic number 2. You will then see the side of the test. On the top right you can switch your language. You also have important information in this text here. You can see the start button on the left and your personal access code field here. Please note down the code you get in the beginning to access your results later. I will now start the test and go through it very quickly. This is my personal code. Here you can see the first of 15 questions. You can get a list of all questions by clicking on this button. After you've answered all of the 15 questions, you may finish the test by clicking on this button on the right. Here you will see a short goodbye message with important information again. Clicking on continue will bring you to the first site. Here I can enter my personal code to see my results at the end of the week. Thanks for watching. And also thank you Professor Renz for the introduction, um, for the questions and the task of the week from Hanover. Um,